Hello there my lovelies, I thought I would make a quick video and just talk about the revamped follower. So Blizzard has changed the follower around completely, revamped it and we're all pretty excited. As you can see, I'm on the PTR server right now, just finished off a stream on Twitch TV. If you haven't seen me live or haven't joined the creepy army there, what are you waiting for? Twitch.tv slash Bannock13. Follow me there, I'll be back live tomorrow. I'll be checking out the Rathma set for the Necromancer, which has also been uh, updated. As has the Firebird set for the Wizard, which we're checking out now, Firebirds and Talrashes. But that's a video for another day. I will be doing build guides and gameplay videos for that. Or you can come to Twitch TV, watch me live, uh, playing there for you all. But we're talking about the follower right now. So if you open up the follower, We've, we're using the Enchantress right now, and you'll see when you open up her window, it's actually very similar to ours. So now, there are 14 items that we can equip on our follower, which include the uh, focus here. I believe the, um, the, the, the scoundrel calls it the token, and the Templar calls it a relic. So it's a focus. Either way, they all get one, and you want to make sure that you have this one that your follower cannot die. So that way, your follower cannot die. So they can keep on casting their skills and helping you out and in this case there are certain items that animate so what that means is animate means that whatever the follower has equipped we benefit from that so you can see here nemesis braces it's a, it's got that aqua blue light blue color there and says animates that means if you equip the item on a follower you'll benefit from the effects Oculus Ring does not have animate because Oculus Ring, what happens is the follower will cast Oculus uh, Ring circles on the floor. So we're going to benefit if we stand in them. It doesn't directly affect our character, if that makes sense. Uh, same goes for Unity. If you have it equipped, it splits damage between you and the follower. It doesn't have to animate because it already kind of is working between the two of you, if that makes sense. Uh, there was another one that was similar to that. It was, oh no, the Everspan does animate. So we do benefit from the Everspan. So if you want to expand your radius, you can uh, throw in your Everspan, which where I have one here. So instead of speed farming and having to equip that yourself, you can now just whack it onto your follower like so. That's if you don't need to have the Unity equipped. So that animates also. Uh, the, the... The amulet that I was thinking of is the S of Johan. So this is the S of Johan. So the way this works is it basically pulls in enemies towards the wearer of the item. So if you're wearing this on your follower, it's still going to work. You're still going to pull enemies into you, but it's going to pull enemies into the follower. It's not going to animate. So we're not going to pull enemies towards us. It's just going to be pulled into the follower. So for those of you wondering whether S of Johan and Oculus still works because it doesn't say animate it does because technically it doesn't actually revolve around our character it's strictly for the follower itself we can just benefit from it because she can pull enemies in and she can also cast rings now very importantly you have to make sure whatever you have equipped has this animate label in brackets there that means that you can benefit from the effects of the actual item. So the only one that doesn't have animate is gold wrap. That's because there's no belt at the moment that the follower can equip that can animate to our character. So we can't benefit from anything. But gold skin, all of the speed farming, beauty, beautiful items, beauties, little beauties I was going to say, uh, that we should usually have in Canoise Cube or equipped on our characters, we can now just pop on our follower and now when we're doing speed runs or Nephilim runs, key runs, whatever, we can benefit from that. Now, there's only two sets. Your question probably is, can the follower equip full sets? Yes, you can equip any set items that you want, but the only ones that you will benefit from are the canes and the sages. I'll bring up the list in a second of everything that's actually compatible with the follower and what an animates with our characters in a second. So as you can see there, again, we've got the set items equipped. I've got one, two, three, three items of canes. So for two pieces, attack speed is increased by 8% and we get 50% 50 experience if we're under 70, 5% if we're at 70. This is still pretty good if you're doing speed runs and rat runs because it's an extra 5% for you and the group. Uh, for three pieces, when a greater rift keystone drops, there is a 25% chance for an extra drop. So you can get four drops sometimes off a single Rift Guardian, and there's a chance you'll get eight drops. So for each of those four drops, you can get an additional drop. You can sometimes get eight K 
keys in a row <clears throat> in one drop in one rift kill one rift one rift guardian kill in the past we had to have these equipped on our characters now you can just whack it onto your follower and it animates so we will benefit from it so we will definitely get those stones the only other one the other set that works is sage's set and that gives you an additional death's breath drop so if you're low on death's breath you can farm your death's breath with sage's set it animates as well for each death's breath that drops you have another one that drops with it so you're gonna you're gonna clean up on death's breath you can definitely go sages and you're probably wondering what other items work there aren't that many right now i'll bring up the list so you can understand um, how it works and what animates over to our characters so these are the actual official patch notes that i'm looking at so these are the items that can animate a lot of them we have equipped already you got broken crown homing pads Spolders of Zakara. What's this stupid ad doing there? Cold skin, which we have equipped. Castarian wrist guards. Nemesis braces, which we have equipped. Gladiator gauntlets. Gloves of worship that we have equipped. Dovu energy trap. Rakoff's glass of life. Avarice band that we have equipped. Creed's flame. Flavor of time is a real good one. So now it, we don't have to have that equipped in Kano's cube or equipped on our characters. This is one that a lot of us use for the GR buff. So pylons last twice as long. That is a really, really handy handy one and it's going to be super handy if you're playing solo keep in mind this only applies to solo play because only in solo play can you have your follower following you around and helping you out and here we go at the bottom the two sets that i mentioned the sage's journey three three piece set and kane's destiny three piece set they're the only ones that work right now maybe in the future blizzard will bring out more items that they can that can animate or other sets that we can use but at the moment that's all that we can use. It's beneficial for us as solo players because instead of having to equip the actual set set bonuses here for Sages or Canes or Flavor of Time, we can just equip it on our follower and we can focus on making sure that we equip anything that's going to benefit us in the damage department or damage reduction department, etc, etc. We don't have to worry about Nemesis Braces. So every time we click a pylon, we can get that Elite to pop as well so we can save some time. We can just equip the Nemesis Braces on our follower and whack in something that's going to help us survive a lot better so we can push higher that kind of thing and for those of you wondering if damage has been increased for the followers they do a little bit more damage at the moment because they have more items they can they can have equipped so they have more primary stats available to them but they're not going to really be uh doing much damage at all why is this ad keep popping up they're not going to be assisting us in damage whatsoever especially in those higher end greater rifts they're just pretty much going to be utilized just to get these bonuses and make life a bit easier for the solo player that's it their damage to answer your question no it's not going to be significant and it's not going to be very beneficial or noticeable at all at this stage depends on what blizzard makes compatible and, and and whatever other items in the future can animate with our characters but that's basically a quick breakdown on the follower and how it works right now how they've been revamped if you want to see some live action gameplay join me on twitch tv i'll be back there tomorrow today we we're, were testing out the new firebird uh set for the for the wizard class it works really really well right now i think it's going to be probably nerfed before next season it's super powerful especially if you do a hybrid uh build with the tail rushes Set. tomorrow we're going to be checking out Rathma's set for the necromancer because that's been overhauled as well so those two main ones had the uh, the the largest amount of changes so we'll be focusing on that on the ptr server and on the twitch stream channel baby that's twitch.tv slash 13 and next up demon souls playstation 5 stream so what are you waiting for join us live there over at twitch tv